Hi, Bob Saya. In today's video, let's learn how you can create animations for your character. If you are following the Gido RPG tutorial series, you must have this character, which can move but doesn't have any animations. In today's video, we are gonna create animations for both idle and walking. It is gonna have animations for our four directions, both idle and walking. So let's get started. Gido has two major ways to animate things the animation player and the animated sprite 2D. We're gonna use the animated sprite 2D as it is much easier for beginners. Gonna start off by deleting these player sprite because we don't need them now. Then I'm gonna add an animated sprite 2D node by hitting Ctrl A. Then we're gonna add it and by going to this animation type in the inspector and clicking this empty button, we can add a resource called sprite frames. By clicking it, you open this menu. Here we can add our animations. Let's start creating our animations. I'm going to rename this default animation to idle up as it's the name of anima the animation I want to create. Then let's click this icon to add a sprite frame from our sprite sheet. Select our sprite sheet from our files and now let's zoom in by control scroll wheel and write the number of horizontal and vertical frames of our sprite sheet mine are 6 and 10 then select the animations you want for that and here i have the idle up animation and up there you can set up the frame rate i'm um, 20 frame per second seems pretty standard here now let's click this plus icon up here to add an other animation i'm gonna name it idle down then i'm gonna click that same icon to go to the files and select the animation i want for it this time i'm gonna add this animation not this one actually i'm gonna select this animation and add it you can see i'm renaming this animation because uh, i don't like these names i'm gonna add the names according to the direction the player is going to be moving while playing this animation so that's depends on you you can name anything that you want then let's start adding the animations and let's create all of the animations the process for that is pretty same i'm gonna create idle up down and an idle side animation for side we're gonna create left and right by flipping the sprite for left and right you can see that i'm creating a idle side animation there and all the process is pretty same and make sure the frame rate for all of the sprite are same so it gives a similar feel let's go to the player script by clicking the script icon next to the player now you remember we created this direction variable if you go up you can see we created this direction variable last episode i'm gonna use that to set up the direction so we're gonna assign it a string it's just gonna be plain text inside this bracket according to the direction the player is going to be moving it's same as the input map we set up we're just gonna add this everywhere and write the name of the input map just for reference and make sure you don't set up any direction any in the else function or else it will just mess up the code now what i'm gonna do is create a new user defined function that means this function doesn't have a default functionality but the code we write it gives it any functionality i'm gonna call it update animation and we add this brackets and we call in there to define that it's a function now uh, what i'm gonna do is pass it for now and i'll go up here and create a variable called is moving this will determine whether the player is moving or not it will help us set up animations better. I'm gonna say set it to false by default and any every time we pass a key we're gonna set it to true. So here set it to true. So all four for all four directions gonna set it to true. Copy it and let's just paste it everywhere. Now in the else function we are gonna make it false. That means because no one's if we are not moving, is moving is equal to false. And that's pretty simple here. Yeah. Let's just start by getting a reference to the animated sprite. You can create a variable. Then what you can do is name it anything you want or what a reference is actually 
that it lets you access the properties of certain node so you can just drag and drop it here and it'll just make a reference but what you can do is you can see there's an error here uh, you can restart the editor i restarted it and it's working now sometimes it'll give some errors like that it's just a bit of buggy you can rename a variable and drag and drop it here to create a reference and this lets you access the properties of the node so say, this time we can access the animations from here or you can and then you need to add this on ready thing to tell the editor to assign the value of the node when the game starts on ready means that like whenever the game starts what else you can do is just remove this and drag and drop and right when you are going to release this hold the control so hold the control before releasing that this and that will just create an automatic variable now what i'm going to do is create an if statement and i'm going to check if you are moving you can set it to equal equal true that means if equal equal means like it's checking for if you use one equal that means you are assigning a variable and if you use two equals that means you're checking for values then we're going to check if the direction is equal to left then we're going to set an animation to idle side you can see the animations we set up were directed toward the right so we're going to use animated sprite dot flip h to flip these sprites by the way you can use the dot above and a variable to access its properties as this variable is referencing the animation player we can access the properties by creating a dot after the variable's name then we're going to do the same code here so again just copy the code here and we're going to paste it in the else if as I explained earlier if the first condition isn't true then we're going to check for the second condition that's what else if is and this time we're going to set up set the flip h to false that means we're not flipping the sprite the direction this time should be up and uh, this time we're going to play the animation which is our idle up because we are idling up so, uh, you basically have to assign the animation that should be played when the player is facing that any direction so you have to figure out that yourself i'm using these guys you can use this as well after everything is good now what you can do is create an other if lf statement and it should be straight aligned to the first if statement just because it's it's else if statement this time i actually made an oopsie here uh, you can actually set it to true or you can just leave it is moving dot that means checking the same and above here actually i used false there because we are using the idle animations i'm gonna just paste all the animations from uh, like code from above and down here and i'm just gonna change the names to walk since the code is same we're checking for directions and if we are moving then we just make the play the animations code is all the same and you can download the project files to better understand it i think now what you do to do is create a little bit of spacing i created because it lets you understand a bit better and you copy the name of the function and paste it here make sure there's no colon end of it it's called calling that means we are asking the editor to use the code inside of this function once you run the code game you can see there are animations here one thing you'll notice is that once we run the game if i cut this and run it again you can see before i press any key there was no animations what you need to do is you need to have a default animation i'm going to create a function called ready function this is a function that's called once when the game starts so when the game starts i'm going to just create play the idle animation this will create our default animation so yeah that's it for today's video if you want to support this channel what you can do is subscribe to the channel and goodbye